how do you perceive Vice President Harris compared to President Biden in terms of competency and experience? I think she's worse. She doesn't even know what's going on at the border. Right. And, and that's what she was, she was supposed to be, be doing. Doing and in charge of. I mean, as a school teacher, if I did not do what I was supposed to be doing, okay. you better believe my job would be in jeopardy. Well, <coughs> it isn't. It not only was her job not in jeopardy, she was just handed a promotion. Is there anyone that Kamala Harris could appoint as her vice president that you would find reassuring? Would make you consider voting for her? No, no, no. 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 Never considered voting for her. No, no. 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 I would not RFK Jr. way before yeah, her. Yeah, Same. absolutely. Yeah. And she's not the first woman to run for the presidency, Hillary Clinton. I'm assuming no one voted for Hillary Clinton no, in no. 2016. So it's not necessarily going to sway you to vote for a woman no. in office. Uh, when do you think America will have a female president? When there's a competent one? Just, I, I don't get a good feel for her. I think she's an idiot. Right. Mary, why do you think that she's not that bright? Because she hasn't done anything in the, the time that she's had. We don't know anything about her as far as her three years so far in the White House. She's not real smart. That's my opinion. It could be wrong. If Vice President Kamala Harris wins the election, do you think that will be an honest result? No. <laughs> no. no one respects her. A lot of talk about Kamala Harris. Because as you guys may have noticed, Joe Biden, he's dropped out. Okay, we already knew he was going to do that many years ago. Uh, but Kamala Harris uh, seems to be plunged in right now, okay, uh, doing a process uh, which was actually pretty illegal. Um, <clears throat> but the Democrats don't believe in letting the people vote for uh, their nominee. Uh, they just actually think that they can install whoever they like, as we've seen in the past few years. Uh, Kamala Harris is not smart, okay? She's just not smart. Um, and we're going to find that out. The world is going to find that out uh, in the next few weeks to a month, okay? The Democrats have a little while before their little convention uh, where they're going to decide uh, here who they're going to select and install. Uh, but it looks like it's Kamala Harris for right now. And guys, she's just not intelligent. Um, and she's black uh, apparently she, she's black and indian or blindian or whatever you want to call kamala harris okay but none of that really matters the only thing that matters is that her and joe biden have destroyed the country they have opened the borders they have caused record high inflation that means inflation is higher than it's ever been okay that means that you can't afford to actually live out here okay of uh, the average person the middle class that kamala harris is going to preach to you uh that she's going to fix okay if they haven't fixed the middle class by now they're not going to fix it it's actually going to get worse if kamala harris comes in i want to go ahead and react to this clip of cnn and how they're going to talk about kamala harris how dark she is how brown she is and how she's not a DEI hire. Look, a week ago we were at the RNC and we all said we were going to turn the temperature down. Well, not throwing racial, uh, bringing race and, and gender into this is part of turning the temperature down. You either can walk the walk and talk the talk or don't come to me with this unity talk. And let me just say, I just want to say how absurd what Donald Trump said there was. Yes. He was blaming Kamala Harris, uh, blaming Joe Biden for selecting Kamala Harris as the running mate, given all the things she criticized Joe Biden about. Have you looked at what J.D. Vance has said about Donald Trump? <laughs> like, it just makes absolutely no consistent sense what Donald Trump Okay, let me make it make sense for you, uh, Chubby. Now, <clears throat> the reason why Kamala Harris criticized joe biden on the debate stage many years ago is because he's an actual racist okay kamala harris told you that and she actually gave you a story about some of the policy uh, that joe biden put in place when she was a little girl okay <laughs> all right he, he opposed busing that means as a black person you weren't allowed to get on a bus to go to a white school even if you were enrolled in a school okay that's what kamala harris was talking about that's actually real now jd vance calling uh, donald 
Trump, uh, the Hitler. Uh, this is just a tantrum that the people on the left actually do, and it's pretty uh, consistent with like a Jory Reid. Uh, so that's uh, pretty common for them to say things like that. When you're ignorant and you don't know a person uh, and you think that they are a threat to democracy, you call them Hitler. That's the first go-to uh, to discredit a person, to make a person look like a psychopathic murderer. But it just doesn't work because it has no substance. Well, Trump said there. Yeah, once said, J.D. Vance said that uh, Trump was America's Hitler. Doesn't get more. Uh, yeah, and yet, uh, and yet yeah, he picked him. So, like, <laughs> it's not, I, I just don't understand what metric he's using. I'll just yeah. say, I don't think the campaign has. Again, the metric he was using uh, was not an actual experience with Donald Trump. The metric Kamala Harris is using, however, uh, was some legislation that Joe Biden uh, opposed when she was younger. Okay, so she had an actual experience uh, with some of the policy that Joe Biden uh, was pushing uh, during his term as a senator, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and that's opposing busing. Okay, that's as racist as it comes. Uh, so when J.D. Vance said that you know Trump was uh, Hitler again, a tantrum. Okay, from and now if you listen to what Jay Z, J.D. Vance has to say about Trump, that now that he knows him and he's been listening to him and following him. Now he's his biggest fan. Hmm, funny how that works. Go anywhere near any of that, right? This is in a lot of ways the same campaign it was last week. It comes down to three eyes, immigration, inflation, and competence. You have Kamala Harris, who's the deciding vote for the Inflation Reduction Act that actually spent trillions of dollars causing inflation. She was the B B Biden's border czar. We've had record number of border crossings. And in competence, she stood side by side with Joe Biden on every single foreign policy disaster we've had, including the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. She owns that record. That's all Donald Trump has to talk about. The rest will take care of itself. Good Bingo. Okay. Bingo. So there is, in politics, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with calling people out for the damage that they have done to your country. It doesn't matter what color they are, okay? All right. Uh, notice that we think that Joe Biden is the worst president on planet Earth. He's the worst president in history uh, because of the things that he's done. It's not because of how pale and old he looks. No, it, it, uh, Warren Buffett, like I said before in a previous video, is about 91 years old, okay, and can make really good decisions. Uh, go ahead and challenge him on investing. Uh, go ahead and listen to him talk about investing for six hours. He's actually very passionate about it uh, because that's capitalism. On the other hand, they're going to take this conversation into a different direction when they have to give the black liberal woman the microphone. She's going to explain why, why she's butthurt because it's about skin color. Forget about the open borders, forget about the inflation, forget about all those things. We're criticizing a black woman here. Everybody get out of the way. Competent, okay, like you don't become the attorney general of California. Or no a US senator. senator. Or the vice president of the United States. By calling her incompetent, you're calling they, they, the 81 million people who voted for her incompetent no, they, as well. They, they, that is, but, but let me just say this. That is what we're talking about. There is a way to attack her record on policy without calling. That's exactly what he just now did. He attacked her record. Okay, <laughs> that's exactly, it's not good enough for the liberal black woman here uh, because she's darker than Kamala. So she should be more offended than Kamala. Uh, as a black man in America, I'm tired of this. All right. It's just literally very stupid. Okay. When we have people destroying our country. Um, I don't care if she was blue. It w literally wouldn't make a difference. Uh, she was a space alien. Uh, she doesn't have the intelligence to run the country the way it's supposed to be ran. Closing the borders, keeping us safe, uh, making things affordable. Guess what? That's a huge problem, okay? It's the biggest problem that we have right now. Notice that the conservatives uh, can't stop talking about it. There's a reason for that. Because things cost too much money, honey. And it got nothing to do with how dark you are or how brown you are or... Uh, you know, which uh, NAACP branch you've been uh, hanging out with for the past 30 years. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the with the gentleman just now said record high inflation. OK, mainly the economy. OK, and the border. Those are the two main issues. Simple as that. That's simple. OK, so if she was orange and she came out here like Trump and she was orange and she wanted to close the border. Hey, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Simple as that. That's all it has to do with it. So we need to keep drilling this home to these people that who think that uh, this has something to do with skin color. It has nothing to do with it, period. All right? Her a name. Incompetent is, a, it is an unflattering name. And when people do that to black... 
she has a nerve to talk about unflattering. Okay, it's unflattering to not be able to afford breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the same damn time. That's unflattering, okay? Women, that is what Van is talking about. You might not agree, but as a black woman, let me tell you how we hear it. Well, you know who disagrees are the voters. The voters right now believe the Biden-Harris administration is one of the most incompetent administrations in American history. That's not me. That's the voters right now. They're not just saying about the vice president. They're saying about everyone in the mission. Look at her. Look at the amount of hate that is blocking her from seeing the actual truth. This guy is being as smooth as possible. He's just being very clear uh, about the things that are happening here that most Americans, not 81 million, probably close to 200 million people are feeling exactly what this guy is saying. She's rolling her eyes because this is about skin color for her. Most people in America are not black, honey. They're just not. OK, so you should roll your eyes into the back of your head. It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to change people's um, beliefs on what's happening. It's not going to change people's ideas about wanting closed borders and lower inflation. It's just uh, your skin color is not strong enough, baby. Situation right now. Let me get Van to respond to that. Go ahead, Van. Well, I, I agree with, with Ashley. Look, of course. we're going to have to learn how to talk to each other. There's certain there's certain things that if you there's Uncle a way, Jones. there's a smart way and a dumb way to do anything. Now, Uncle Van Jones is a crybaby. OK, everybody knows that um, he's been crying for a very long time. Uh, he's crying when Joe Biden got elected. He's crying now that Joe Biden has to leave. He's crying. The only thing he's not crying about is inflation. The only things he's not crying about is open borders. They should be crying about this. It's ridiculous. Uh, ask the people of Chicago right now uh, about their resources being taken over by illegal immigrants. OK, ask Texas how much pressure they've had with open borders trying to keep our country safe. Ask these people about that. That's going to cause more inflation, by the way. These people are crying about the wrong things. They think that the race card is so almighty and powerful that it's always going to work. And it doesn't always work. It's not going to always work. Okay? Skin color doesn't trump not being able to feed your family properly. Skin color doesn't trump uh, your safety. It never will. When would they understand that? This is, this is very simple. Uh, but they're going to keep playing a race card until... It doesn't exist anymore. And it's very close to not existing. OK, it's a very dumb way to uh, after 400 years of this mistreatment of black people and black women to say you're incompetent. Uh, you, that maybe that makes sense to you in your world and you wouldn't take it that personally. But that has been uh, he's not calling Kamala Harris just incompetent. He said the entire administration, if I heard him correctly. So it's not just about Kamala Harris here, okay? First of all, she's not black. She's a Blindian, all right, which means she's a black and an Indian, okay? So she's not black, guys, okay? So so we're not going to be able to use the race card to, to get this election uh, rigged up, okay? We're not going to do that right now, all right? As I said, inflation, open borders, high crime, this is going to trump your skin color. I hope that you guys understand this and that you stop trying to use the race card because incompetence is incompetence. It doesn't have a color. It's colorblind, okay? The slur, that has been the core, that we are not worthy. We're not as smart. We're not as good. We can't do stuff. And so when you have someone who's overcome all of uh, we're not doing stuff. OK, <laughs> we're not talking about doing stuff. Uncle Van Jones, uh, we're talking about running a country. We're talking about the greatest country on Earth. We're talking about operating a sensible business model for our entire country. Kamala Harris has not been able to do that. Joe Biden has not been able to do that. Corinne Jean Pierre uh, can't seem to explain why they can't do that. Uh, and we've been told that Joe Biden was uh, doing extremely well and that he's in a top notch condition. But now he's dropped out because he's uh, somehow all of a sudden uh, brain dead. So the incompetence doesn't have a color. Okay, it just doesn't. So I, I, I just want to that again and again and again and again. And that's the word you pick incompetent. I'm just going to tell you, it's not going to work as well for you as you think it. And what you're going to wind up doing is getting a lot of people who are not going to vote, who really did not care, who were who were sick of all of it. People are going to crawl through broken glass to vote. People are going to crawl through broken glass to vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> That's what they're going to do right now. OK, I don't care how CNN tries to flip the narrative. I don't care how many uh, Hitler's uh, Joy Reid tries to call Trump. You're not going to be able to stop what's coming. People are absolutely tired of it. OK, some people have known about this for a very long time, but people are just finding out how sick and incompetent Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have actually been for the country. They have not been running the country. They've been running the country in the ground. And people are absolutely tired of it. So they're going to crawl through broken glass 
to get away from Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. That's exactly what's going to happen in November. Against a party who says that about a black woman. Pick another word. Don't pick that one. They're hoping and praying that this is going to be enough. But it, I got news for you. It's just not. It's just not. It doesn't matter what these people say. Uh, we're going to keep hitting them hard. We're going to keep on making videos about this. We're going to keep on saying something about it because they're up there trying to do stuff. Uh, and, and they think that just because of their skin color uh, that we're supposed to vote for them. OK, when you talk to a black woman like that, uh, you know, this is all very silly. It's very, very it shows the level of incompetence. Actually, it puts it on display. That we have to keep talking about the skin color when we're talking about serious issues here that Van Jones knows better. OK, I expect Van Jones to know better, but he's just playing the role like he always does. And it's not going to work, Jelly. Not this time, bro. Not this time. People are hurting too badly. I see it. When, anytime billionaires are coming out complaining about this stuff, anytime, uh, you know, you got billionaires like Elon Musk uh, giving Trump $45 million every month to help out, anytime uh, billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg has changed course on what he thinks about Trump, seeing Trump get uh, uh, almost assassinated, uh, this has gone too far. The only people that are seem to be that angry enough to uh, do these kind of things and attempt to assassinate a president, the only people that I see with my own two eyes that are capable of doing something like that are the same people com complaining that the uh, shooter missed Trump. They're on the left. Okay. That's just it. So nothing they're going to be able to say, nothing they're going to be able to do is going to get them out of the trouble that they're in. They've trapped themselves and it's nothing they can do about it because lies get you nowhere. Lies get you nowhere. You just have to keep telling lies and telling lies and telling lies and telling lies. And then the truth is revealed and then people can see the truth and they can identify with the truth because it makes sense. Period. It just makes sense. Okay, so Kamala Harris could never win the election. She's just never going to win. The bottom line. Guys, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Andre with Yup, I Said It. I said it.